Hi, I'm going to show you how to log in to the Bianca Remote Desktop Environment website. Um, so this is part of the UpMax documentation of the sensitive data cluster called Bianca. And let's go through the procedure. Like because she has sensitive data, she has more protected than you are used to, maybe. Let's take a look at the procedure. It has five steps. One, get inside of Sunet. Two, go to some kind of web address. 3. Fill in the dialog. 4. Fill in another dialog. 5. Pick a flavor. This doesn't always happen. And then 6. You are in. So I'm going to walk you through this procedure uh, to see if it all works correctly and that you can see, follow along. So I need to be inside SUNET. Well, I am not inside SUNET. I'm not inside the university. I'm, um, I'm at home. And to take a look at how to get inside the SUNET within the university networks, one option is to use a VPN. And I just clicked on that link to get this. And um, here it is documented how to use a VPN for Uppsala University, where I'm staff of. I needed to go to some kind of page that is uh, blocked. So I can't show you, but it, show it gives you a VPN. So I start my VPN that I've set up for Upmax University, and yours may look a bit different if you uh, don't if you're from a uni different university. But this is how it looks like: connect the VPN.uu.se. Now it will ask me a lot of information like who I am and two-factor authentication stuff. Let's take a look at what it's doing. There we have the first pop-up. So it wants to know who I am. And, this, and now it needs two-factor authentication. It uses Microsoft Authenticator for this. So I'll go to Microsoft Authenticator. And I look for the token called, take a look, need to unlock the thing. For the called RICB424, colon RICB424. That's my uh, Uppsala University nickname. Um, so I click on that and I get this number 538259 and now my VPN took me onto its network so some you'll see that this pop-up now shows up that I'm connected sometimes it will disconnect me for reasons and I'll be connected 10 seconds later again but I am now inside uh, the university networks so I've done this step, but if you're inside the university, it's, you don't need to do this. Next step, go to the Bianca website. So um, I've opened it in another tab, so here it, it popped up. Let's take a, take a quick look. Step three, fill in the first dialogue. All right, so, then, so I'll need to fill this in, this first dialogue. So my name is Richel. My projects, so let's take, for example, um, the Bianca workshop. I need to give my UpMax password here. And also for UpMax, we have a two-factor authentication number. Uh, and for that, I use a different app called FreeOTP, which works on Android. And I'm looking for the key that says UpMax, and it says Richel at UpMax. So Richel, that's my UpMax username and my regular name. And that number is 494023. So I think I've just now did this step, fill in the first dialogue, fill in the second dialogue using your regular password, right? So my regular password, no second factor authentication here is my, well, my OPEX password. There. So this is filled in, five. Pick a remote desktop flavor, but not KDE. Let's take a look what's going to happen. All right, so the website is booting up. I'm not asked to to pick a logo, to pick a flavor. Um, that's because I already set this up apparently, and that means I'm in now. So I'm on the Bianca login node. So on the login node. Uh, you do need to behave, so only do do light things. So I'm not going to start 
big programs like RStudio Visual Code or Jupyter Notebook. Um, instead, usually I will open up a terminal, uh, which is here, and use sbatch to submit bigger jobs. Or I start an interactive session, whatever. But I'm on a login node here. Um, so do behave on a login node if you work with other people. Going back to the documentation, I've showed you how to log in to the Bianca Remote Desktop Environment website. Um, with that, uh, yeah, the, the link to the documentation can be find, found in the description of this video. And with that, I wish you a very good day. Bye.